Amen. As we were worshiping God in the Spirit, the Lord started moving, and I didn't know what, you know, what to expect. I just heard the Lord. Amen. I just want to bring something to you real quickly. Praise God. I want you to know something, church. You're on the brink of a great breakthrough. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And, uh, you know, how many of you have been going through a battle this week? You've been fighting hard. I mean, things have been going wrong. All kinds of stuff. You're, how many, you know, you've been feeling the attack, right? All kinds of things are happening against your life. It's like, man, is this what I get for fasting for 21 days? Lord. Well, you know, and, and, and the enemy starts saying, yeah, you know what? It's, done, it's not doing any good. But I'm going to tell you something. Praise God, you're having great impact in the kingdom of God. Amen. And I, I just want to tell you tonight, praise God, I'm not going to preach, I don't think. So, amen. Because God already done a lot here tonight. But I'm just thinking about how the battle against our breakthrough is normal along the way. That when God is moving His church into a new dimension, He has a call upon your life to do something great for God. Don't consider it or count it a strange thing that you're going to be fought, that you're going to be battled against. It is normal. Right. Praise God. I've got a verse of Scripture. You don't have to turn there, but you can write it down and check it out. I've got a whole context here, but I want to just share this verse of Scripture from Acts chapter 7 and verse 25. It's speaking about Moses. And it says, for he supposed his brethren would have understood how God, by his hand, would deliver them, but they understood not. And it's talking about the time when Moses rose up. He had a call, he had a desire, it's something that happened inside his life. After 40 years of being raised up in Pharaoh's force, he knew that God had called him to deliver yeah. the children of Israel out of bondage. He knew what the Bible says. He knew that he was the one to rise up and be the deliverer. Praise God. The call of God to go forward in victory was already there. Yes. But it wasn't time. Right. Praise God. Are you hearing me? Yes. Praise God. When we have a burden from God, but we go out in the flesh, we end up killing something. <laughs> Are you Come hearing on. me? Praise God. I was thinking about Moses and the call of Moses. Amen. Moses was fought all the way. God said, I want you to go down to Egypt and tell Pharaoh to let my people go. God had put a mandate on the heart of Moses. Can somebody say amen? Listen, God is pressing down something into your spirit. God is telling the church it's time to get ready for revival. It's time to get ready for a harvest of souls. It's time to get ready to make a move. It's time to get ready to expect greater things in this hour. And don't count it a strange thing. Don't consider it strange, praise God, that all of hell is breaking out around you because that is the normal. But I've got the good news to tell you today, praise God. Pharaoh fought as hard as he could against the mandate of God, but God's ways will always prevail. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God. God allowed Moses to lead the children out of Egyptian bondage and brought them through the Red Sea onto the other side in complete victory, praise God. Hallelujah, in complete victory, praise the Lord. I think, you know, I think about Elijah the prophet. You know, Elijah the prophet, praise God. He was a prophet of fire. Elijah the prophet did not have it easy. He, he called fire down from heaven and consumed the sacrifice and caused the nation to repent. But then he ended up running away because eight, uh, because um, uh, Jezebel threatened his life. Amen. You know, whenever revival has broken out, you can always count on a Jezebel spirit to rise up his ugly head. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. Elijah ran from that place of victory and got under a juniper tree. And began to feel sorry for himself. Oh, bless your heart tonight. Don't feel sorry for yourself. God will not leave you nor forsake you. Yeah. He thought that he was forsaken. Praise God. But we know the end of the story. I'm going to tell you something. He was in a battle. He felt like he was all alone. He said, he's killed. you know, she's killed all the prophets and I'm the only one left. Sometimes you would feel like that. We're the only one going through what we're going through. Amen. Sure. Amen. But God had a mission. God had a plan for Elijah. And look at Elijah's end. Praise God. Elijah, praise God, 
was ushered by the Lord in a fiery chariot caught in a whirlwind up into heaven, praise the Lord. He left in a, a flash. He left in glory, praise God. Listen to me. God is getting ready to lift you up into a place of glory. Hallelujah. Don't look at the way things are right now. Amen. Things aren't going to stay the way they are. We are on our way, church. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. I, I, you know, I was thinking about David. You know, David, praise God. You know, God anointed him as a young boy. God had a mission and, and a mantle upon his life. And, and God said from the prophet Samuel, you're going to be the king of Israel. But it didn't come easy. It didn't come without a fight. Amen. Saul held on as hard as he could to the kingdom. But there came a day when the kingdom was handed over to David's hand because that was God's mission. That was God's mandate. That was God's mantle. And we see David, praise God, bringing the glory of God back into the temple. Hallelujah. What are you saying, Pastor? I'm saying that you might be in a struggle tonight. You might be in a battle. You might be in a warfare. But hold on. Because you are right on the brink of your breakthrough. Somebody here tonight, God wants you to know He sees where you're at. He knows what you're facing. He knows what you're going through. But hold on. You're not going to stay where you're at. God has already called you. He's made a declaration over your life. You are coming into breakthrough. Revival is on the way in your life. And the glory is about ready to fall. Hallelujah. The glory is about ready to fall. So I know there's several of you tonight. You've been fighting something. You've been discouraged. You've been upset. You've been expecting something. You haven't seen it come to pass. It seems like things aren't getting better, but things are getting worse. If that's you tonight, I want you to stand your feet. We're going to sing again. I want you to come. We're going to anoint you tonight because God wants you to know this is the word. Amen. The battle isn't yours. Hallelujah. It's the Lord's. Stand together with me all around this church.